Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 37 of Wonderful Pretty Cures. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. So, it's first date time! Oh my god, you guys, I'm so excited. My, Our babies are growing up. I love it! But is it like for it, it is first date approval, right? Yeah. Here is. I know your little girl's growing up. Oh my god! <laughs> sure, you can call it that, but that's different though. Like me, I can't even. Say, mm -mm. Yeah, no, no. Like I've, I've been on. I think. Well, I wouldn't even say it was a date. In my opinion, it was. See, I mean, because like, date has a different definition for anything. There, there's friend dates and hangout dates, and then there's like a date date. Like I said, my my dream dream date. Dinner in a movie. Or take me to like a really nice restaurant, wine and dine my behind. Please and thank you. Um, I'm not gonna say like get me like drunk. <laughs> it's so show can be tipsy. Or, or if you do, give me tipsy at the restaurant and stuff. That's okay. And then make sure I get home safe. Please and thank you. Yes, that's all. Or we could go. I would. I would love to have coffee dates. I've had like more coffee dates with my mom. And such um i feel like those are very whether you're with friends or family or just with a guy or a girl they're very intimate because that's when you're talking to someone a lot same thing when you're you know going to dinner or something um but coffee dates are sweet i feel like those are very simple and i really like those a lot or you just go to a movie or you go like you go do something fun something out of your comfort zone so go have fun This is like giving car to Sakura vibes. And Sakura went on um a day where you I mean, yeah! <laughs> it's possible. It's okay. You're right. The look of love. No!
Yeah, and we'll take that for you too. May may. We're all going on a date, guys. Yes, please listen to Nico. Listen to her. Yep, go to Satoru said it's okay. He says you will not interfere. Leave him alone. Leave them alone. Do not follow. Hold, hold up. We can still fall in love with someone and still be a pretty care at the same time. Sailor Moon taught us that we can have the best of both worlds. Magical Girls once again taught us that we can have the best of both worlds. You can have the best of both worlds. Okay. No, This is this man's fantasy. I can't. <laughs> God, Jesus. Chariot's the best friend. Not a uh, not boys' love. I mean, but he's known Iha Iroha for like a longer time than you, Maymay. No. The green one's pretty.
every second I go to the aquarium. I want to go to the aquarium so bad. Like, oh my god. peaceful. I'll always like that. Let's go! <laughs> yeah! I'm gonna go die in the corner because it's too much. <laughs> Stop it! Is it a giraffe? Yeah, it's a giraffe. Now my thing is, can we do this with the three of them? And I get it. I love that Mayu was like, I, I really want you know uh, to have the perfect date. Any I think any friend, girlfriend, guy friend, whatever, who really supports their best friend, whoever, and dating and they're like, I just want them to have the best freaking date. I don't want them to be bothered. I don't want to ask them to do this, this, that, and the third for it. And I think that's a really good genuine person. Like seriously. 
Once again, Mayu has grown oh so much and I love that for her. Like, dang, girl, you might end up growing best girl by the end of this series. And I, whoo, God.
Hi, baby. Yeah. All right, go home. Yeah. Because you guys had a friendship date, a hangout date today. We won. Ah! I need a moment. I'm about to cry again. Oh my god. <laughs> This is now week three. Week three? And you having me tear up again. Pretty care. Wonderful pretty care. You can't do you can't keep doing this. You cannot keep doing this. Three episodes in a row. No, I, I can't even remember no other pretty care season where I cried in like three episodes back to back. Out of all the ones that I've reacted to. Starting from Kita Kita up until now, and then adding, yes, Pretty Cure 5 and Go Go for a certain amount of episodes until I stopped. But I. You can't keep doing this to me! All right, who's ready for week four? Because week four is coming. I'm crying again this weekend. I'm crying on my birthday weekend. Oh my God, I can't do this. I cannot freaking do this. No, we all knew this episode was coming. We all knew an episode like this was coming. And I'm not emotionally ready for this. Mind you, we're pretty here in a nutshell. I'm never emotionally av available or just ready for an episode that I know that is really going to probably make me cry. Look, we all know the last, last time, if we're talking about like any video series that I've done a reaction on, the last time where I cried, cried like a baby was the like last couple of episodes of season two of Jobless Reincarnation. Uh, of what happened if you have not seen that show. I'm not going to spoil what happens, but if you've seen that show... Or if you've read the light novel, then you know what the heck I'm talking about. If you don't, yeah, go ahead and watch it. Nothing bad happens, I promise you. Nothing happens in the second season that'll make you probably emotional <laughs> AF. And then you're probably gonna cry like a baby, just like moi, and probably have someone console you because literally that I, I will never forget that day. Because I think it was either was it was it Father's Day weekend that episode aired? Or Mother's Day weekend? And it, no, it was, fa it was Father, I think it was Father's Day weekend, um, the episode aired and that happened and such. And so I literally, in the other video that I had to record for it, all I remember is like my mom coming in and consoling me and everybody's like, oh my God, DJ, it's okay. And I was like, no, it's not, oh my God. <laughs> um, but 
But no, okay. Date wise, I really love the fact that not only did Iroha and you know Zatsuru got their official date, you know, you had Yuki Komogi and Mayu all having a little friendship date, and I think that's really cute. Like, I I love the fact is like he, here's the thing, here the the date thing once again as we talked about the definition of it for between America and Japan. It's two different things. Normally, all of us here in America, when we think of a date, we're just thinking of, like, it's either same sex, opposite sex, whatever, romantic vibes and such. Um, and then when you look at dates in Japan, that could literally be anything. That can be just a, a romantic date, a platonic date with just two friends hanging out and going somewhere. But it could possibly also be a, a romance between the two friends and stuff. You never really know. And... Like I said, if we, we've talked about this again and time and time again of like, I would, if, if I was in Japan right now, and let's say, okay, for an example, there is a guy I am talking to officially, I think what, this weekend, my birthday weekend, or no, next Tuesday on the 22nd, it'll be a month officially for us, we've been talking almost a month. Um, he's really sweet and such. Uh, if we, let's say, were to go on a date. Let's say he takes me to Japan because, like, who, who freaking knows? I don't know what this guy is capable of and such. Um, but, like, let's say that would be the biggest dream and such. Having a certain amount of days with him and hanging out with him and getting to know him on, like, a deeper level and such. That would be really sweet. Plus, I would finally get to live out all the fantasies that I want. Like, the aquarium date. Like I said, here in Jacksonville, Florida, we don't really have an aquarium. We have a zoo. Once again, I have not been to the zoo in a hot behind minute. But, um, I think there's a water section? I don't know. See, once again, because I can't tell you because I haven't been to the zoo. Maybe one day I'll go to the zoo just to go, but I don't know. Like, they're really, to me, like, I, I mean, we're in October, so I feel like there's only Halloween stuff, but I, I would love to go, but still. But it's starting to kind of get cold, and that's usually what happens around my birthday, and I ain't got time for that. But no, this was a really cute episode for my babies. And he finally called her by her name. Like, not her last name anymore. He called her. I gotta look at it again. Like, okay, hold on. Wait, pause. Pause, 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 pause. pause. I'm about to have a breakdown. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Did you see? The way he was trembling to get it out for a moment. Oh, <laughs> I can't do this anymore. Oh my god. This ain't a magical girl anymore. <laughs> I not show anywhere. This is a romance. <laughs> we had 37 episodes of the romance and I can't. Oh my god. Oh. And then he looks so cute. Oh. <laughs> they hold hands. They hold hands. Oh, it's too much. Oh my god, I can't. I, I can't. I think the last time I had fangirled over a couple in Pretty Cure, like probably maybe this much, was freaking Yukari <laughs> <laughs> and Akira from Kira Kira and how nuts those two are together. We're like, ah, obviously. They're freaking dating. They're gonna get married by the end of That was the canonized couple. We all know it. Because freaking still still to this day, Toei goes nuts over that couple. They love posting the crap out of that whole at that couple. Look, like mind you. I, I cannot believe we're gonna talk about this again. Okay. Let's talk about the pretty cure the previous freaking pretty cure movie that came out with freaking Hirogato and such. And the fact is, like, number one, Yukari is featured in it. And so she's waking up. And who do you hear calling her in her dreams? Freaking Akira. Akira. Let's freaking go. Here's another freaking funny thing. Okay, because, like, if this happens, 
I will die. Okay. Now, the funny thing is, you know, if you if we're going to talk about, because I'm talking about Genshin in a nutshell right now, of course. Majority of um pretty heroes are already in the Genshin universe and such, which is very funny. Um, Literally, like, your girl saved up for... What the heck is her name? I don't even remember her name. Well, we'll just do her character for... For pretty cure. Kiss Summer Sayu <laughs> as the character that she plays. And I got her. I'm super happy about that. It didn't cost that much, but thank God. Ha 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 ha. Um, but yeah, like literally the the funny thing was I think one day uh I was like looking at voice actresses and such for it. And I think um Akira plays uh father and such. No, no, mind you, mind you, if, if for King Yukari, if for Sayu, Miss Little Hatsume Miku and such, if she would just get her butt in there, we could be happy. We could hit, we could be happy. Remember, last season she was messing around with a freaking deer. Noko noko time. Mm hmm Shika noko. Yes. Go. Go be in Genton. Manifest it. We're all manifesting it today at 12.59 a.m. on October 16th, 2024. Manifest. I sound like a mad woman right now. But no, like seriously, this was a really good episode. This was very heartwarming and such. Um, very romantic and even wholesome with the two different types of dates and such. Hopefully, I will say this to you guys. Like, if you ever get to go on, like, your quote-unquote dream date, whatever, I hope it is the best thing that you want. I hope it's everything that you've hoped dreamed thrived for manifested and everything because every guy or girl deserves to have their quote-unquote dream date but other than that guys that is my reaction to this episode 37 of wonderful break here if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys on saturday for episode 38 but until then i will see you guys all next time bye